can you see it? The iPhone SE, SE it. Can you iPhone SE it? Can you see it? That was horrible. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. And if this is your first time here to this channel, welcome, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button with all notifications turned on so that you never miss another video on this channel. And if you've been here before, or if you're already subscribed, welcome back. So yes, as you can see, the 2020 iPhone SE is here. It's the iPhone SE from 2020. Some people are calling it the iPhone SE 2, which makes sense, but it is the 2020 iPhone SE. It is the 128 gig iPhone SE in black. So with that in mind, let's just get right into it. First of all, I love this. This is the best part right here. Let's not, let's not screw it up. Cellophane removal. Let me try that again. I only get one shot at this. That was a very weird reaction, but it was genuine. I literally feel like that inside when I do that. There was a quick removal of the cellophane part one. We have a part two coming in just a moment, but quick look at the box of the iPhone SE here. You can see the iPhone SE on the front, iPhone logo on the side, iPhone logo on the side, Apple logo, Apple logo, and of course, more information with your model and what it includes on the back. But let's see what's inside. And here we go. Designed by Apple in California. Quick little side note, that was probably the quickest and easiest I have been able to actually remove the top part of an Apple product box in months. If you don't believe me, check out my unboxing videos playlist on this channel. You can see I, for whatever reason, struggle with that right there. I don't know why, it just takes, takes forever. But on the iPhone SE, it's like a charm. Little something I do wanna point out, you're not gonna be able to see this on the video, but there's a little indentation on the home button on the front of the iPhone SE box. I think is pretty cool. Nice little touch, brings a little bit of attention to that home button, which is one of the actual like features of the iPhone SE. It's actually considered a feature. Some people want that home button, want that touch ID. So it's a feature, kind of cool to have, but let's take a look at this thing. If we lift up this packet right here. <gasps> there it is, the iPhone SE. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. But before we get to that little packet of information here, we are gonna need to take a look at this inside. We just pull this out. You will see, first up, a little quick start guide. If I could get it undone here. Does it have to be? Oh, there is no undone-ness. That's kind of deceiving. It feels like you gotta unwrap it because it's kind of thick, but that's just it. Front, back, all you need to know. Power button, ringer button, all that stuff right there. Quick start guide. Also, you get your little SIM ejector tool right there. So, oops, I just ripped that paper. That's not good. But regardless, little SIM ejector tool right there. I'll deal with that later. Warranty, safety information, and of course, your beloved Apple stickers. Oh, love these babies. Love them. Don't know what to do with them, but love them. That is all that comes in the packets of information in your iPhone SE box. But now for the main attraction, the iPhone SE. Here we go, let's remove it from the box. We're gonna take a quick look at it here with this little pull-up tab. <gasps> it is so sexy. Right off the bat, I'm gonna be honest with you, I like the black color. I've missed the black color of the iPhone ever since. I think it was the iPhone 7 Plus that I used to have with the same color. The stainless steel sides of the iPhone 11 Pro Max, they're very nice, they're, they're, they're sexy as well, but there's just something again about that matte black look and feel on the edges of the iPhone that I'm just so drawn to. More on that in just a second, but let's see before we get to the phone itself, what else comes in the box. You of course get your wall adapter for charging up your iPhone SE. You're gonna need this. Also, you're gonna actually get a pair of ear pods. Listen closely, not AirPods, ear pods. Granted, you're probably not gonna need these if you are a proud owner of the AirPods, but in case you don't have AirPods, or in case you do need some kind of headphones, earphones kind of situation. You do get some ear pods with your iPhone SE, so nice to have that. And then of course, last but not least, your USB to lightning cable, which you are going to use with your wall adapter to actually charge up your iPhone SE. But do keep in mind the iPhone SE 2020, the second generation iPhone SE right here is actually wireless charge capable. Meaning, yes, you could actually charge up your iPhone SE 
via a wireless charger without having to even worry about this wall adapter lightning cable combination right there. Pretty cool if you ask me. But the part we've really been waiting for, right? The cellophane removal, deep breath, of the iPhone SE. Never gets old, it never does. What a beautiful back to this thing, my gosh. Apple, you know how to make a sexy phone, I tell ya. Removal of the front cellophane. And there it is, the iPhone SE. Yeah, you know what? I love my iPhone 11 Pro Max, I really do but I do somewhat miss the small form factor. I know that sounds like I'm flip-flopping. I wanted a bigger phone, I love the plus size displays, but at the same time, I kind of miss just the small form factor of this thing. I don't know what it is, it's like, I could reach every part of the screen with my thumb, which is, in its own kind of little way, amazing. And then Touch ID, I kind of miss that Touch ID that we used to have, because as you know, it's not in the iPhone 11 Pro Max, we have Face ID. There's just something so convenient about being able to quickly unlock your phone or authenticate something using just your thumb. I don't like having to do that weird kind of hover thing over my iPhone 11 Pro Max just to be able to use the Face ID. Sometimes it's at an angle away from me, I see something pop up on my phone, I just want to be able to touch the screen to unlock it like you could do with the Touch ID home button on the iPhone SE. Now obviously that comes with a trade-off because we do have larger bezels, which we're about to see on the iPhone SE, so a couple things to consider here, but right out the gate, cute, sexy little thing, I gotta tell ya. But let's turn it on. Oh, there it is, that glorious, glorious Apple logo. My goodness, you are so pretty. Hello, and there we are. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna go through the whole setup process of the iPhone SE, but I do wanna point out how great of a looking phone it actually is. Yes, we still kind of have the legacy design where we have those bezels on the top and the bottom. Yes, obviously there are some severe limitations of this phone, but keep in mind, this is the budget iPhone. It is a darn good looking phone and I am beyond excited to put this thing to the test. Cannot wait to try it out, test it, and review it. So of course, be on the lookout on this channel, subscribe so you don't miss the review video of the iPhone SE. If you guys want more information about the new Apple 2020 iPhone SE or just a cop one for yourself, you guys can actually head to my affiliate link, bmac.link slash iPhone SE2, bmac.link slash iPhone SE2, or of course, as always, there will always be a clickable link in the video description box below as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this unboxing of the iPhone SE2 as much as I enjoyed actually unboxing it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, and while you're at it, do me a favor, comment down below your initial thoughts of the new iPhone SE. Do you like it? Are you gonna consider getting it? Do you hate it? Do you not understand why Apple released it to begin with? Leave all your thoughts about the new iPhone SE in the comment section below. I will see you guys in my next video. iPhone 11 Pro Max, I wanna introduce you to someone. Say hello to your little brother. Now just cause you're bigger and more powerful doesn't mean you have to be a bully big brother. 11 Pro Max.